Welcome to tutorial 7, performing a sensitivity analysis in GPSX. It is important to know how to perform an appropriate sensitivity analysis so to validate model results as well as identify parameters to be adjusted during a model calibration. The goal of this tutorial is to understand how to perform a sensitivity analysis through exploration of the model's steady state and dynamic sensitivity and develop a working knowledge of the analyze functions. The Analyze module is an optional GPSX feature. If you do not have this function available and are interested, please contact us for pricing information. Create a new model layout and save under an appropriate name. Turn on the grid by going to View Display Grid. Ensure selection of the Mantis 2 library option. In the Implant Process group, drag onto the drawing board a wastewater implant object. From the Suspended Growth Processes group, select the Completely Mixed Tank object. From the Secondary Clarifier Process group, select the Rectangular Secondary Clarifier and bring onto the drawing board. Now connect the process streams. Join the wastewater stream to the CSTR Influent the MLSS stream to the influent of the secondary clarifier, and create a recycle connection between the bottoms of the secondary clarifier and the recycle influent of the CSTR. Adjust the process object labels. Label the influent object influent in the stream WWINF. For the CSTR, label it CSTR the overflow MLSS, the pump flow PMP, and the recycle stream RAS. Lastly, label the rectangular clarifier, final clarifier, overflow FE, and the pump flow WAS. Switch into simulation mode. Create new scenario called sinusoidal. Right click on the influent object and go to flow, flow data. Change the flow type to sinusoidal and the influent flow to 5000 meter cube per day. Drag the influent flow to the input control section to create a slider control for this variable. Right-click again on the influent object and go to Composition, Load Type Options, and change the load type to Sinusoidal. Right-click on the CSTR and go to Input Parameters, Operational, and change the Specify Oxygen Transfer By To Selection to Entering Airflow. Set the airflow into the aeration tank to 15,000 m3 per day. Drag the airflow into aeration tank variable to the input controls section. Open the controls property window and change the limits to 2000 to 10,000 m3 per day for the influent flow. And 10,000 to 40,000 m3 per day for the airflow. Create new graph tab for the addition of four graphs. Right-click on the Clarifier Effluent Stream FE and go to Output Variables, State Variables, and drag the Ammonia Nitrogen variable to the new Graph tab. Open the Graph's properties and rename the graph to Ammonia Nitrogen and set the max limit to 30. From the same stream, go to Output Variables, Composite Variables, and create a graph for the total carbonaceous VOD5. Rename the graph to CVOD5 and set the max limit to 200 mg per liter. Again, from the stream, open the output variables, composite variables, more form, and create a graph for the total nitrogen, including dinitrogen gas variable.
rename the graph to total nitrogen, and set the max limit to 100 mg per liter. Right-click on the CSTR and go to Output Variables, State Variables, and create a graph for the dissolved oxygen. Rename the graph Dissolved Oxygen and set the max limit to 5 mg per liter. Auto-arrange these graphs. Save the model layout. We will now look at the effect of the airflow on the four dependent values that the graphs were just created for. Open the Control of Properties window and change the airflow into aeration tank from a slider type to an analyzed step control. Change the delta value to 500. From the main toolbar, click on the arrow beside the Analyze button and confirm that Steady State has been selected. Turn on the Analyze mode by either selecting this from the drop down list or click directly on the Analyze button. You can confirm that you are in analyze mode as the status bar will indicate this and the graphs will change so that the x-axis displays the independent variable airflow rather than time. Run a zero-day steady state simulation and observe the results. Try running simulations at other influent flows. We will carry out a time dynamic sensitivity analysis of the airflow on the four dependent variables. From the Analyze menu, select Time Dynamic and ensure that you are still in Analyze mode. Notice that the x-axis of the graphs is now based on time. Set the time to one day and run a steady state simulation. Successive curves will be added to the graph. Looking at the DO graph, you will notice that for increasing airflows, the DO concentration increases in addition to fluctuating with time due to the sinusoidal influent flow and load patterns. We will now carry out a phase dynamic sensitivity analysis of the airflow on the dependent variables. From the Analyze menu, select Phase Dynamic. Set the simulation time to one day and run a steady state simulation. Here, the results are plotted against the Analyze variable. This graph is only slightly different to the results presented when steady state was selected from the Analyze menu. The graph shows the DO concentration after one day for an airflow of 10,000 to 40,000 meter cube per day, as opposed to showing the steady state value at time equals zero when carrying out the steady state analysis. Save your layout. You have now completed tutorial 7 and should be familiar with using the Analyze function in GPSX in its use in performing sensitivity analysis.